Alrighty, welcome back to Gomer Play Zelda's Revenge Star Tropics 2, the final chapter, Chapter 9. We've returned to Sea Island because Micah telepathically called us like, Hey, uh, we need your help. So here we go. And in we go. Sea Island and... Well, shit. Everybody's turned into bacon. Well, bacon receptacles. Warthogs, basically. It's like, okay. It's, 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 wow. Everybody. Except you. Welcome back to Coral Cola. The strangest thing has happened. Came back from fishing and I found all the villagers have changed to wild boars. But that isn't weird enough. Out so odd sounds have been coming from this tunnel. Please help us, Mike. Okay. Uh, probably Zoda Z. Who doesn't even waste words. He, you know, not heard word one from him. He, he, he apparently is just all talk, no action. And yes! The music, the layout. Yes, this is exactly Sea Island from the first one. Well, Sea Island Tunnel from the first game. So, I, th I think with a few modifications, you know, other than... Oh, hey. I don't have to fight all these. Fuck you guys. I'm out of here. But I think it is shortened a little bit uh, from the original. Um, and, of, and, of course, with the more fluid controls, of course, it's going to be... Eh, come here. Come here. Thank you. Of course, with the more fluid controls, we you know, it can go a little bit quicker. It's not as slow as the original. And oop, nope. Of course, you put it at the very goddamn end. <coughs> Excuse me. And then, ow, 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 ow! Hey, personal space, bat. Personal space. And there we go. And oh, hey, there we go. Three-way open door, open door policy. Ah, uh, and yes, there are still the. And I will show off in just a... Get, God damn it. Urgh. I will show off that, yes, that we still have the... The, uh, uh, secret areas from the first game, except for the one trap room. The trap room is not a part of this, thankfully. Ugh. But, we can still open this. I know there's a snake. I know there's a snake. There's a snake. See? Alright. Still get in here. Get the medicine! Sweet! Although this next room, the other room... Uh, um... Hi! You get hearts, medicine, and a try your luck sign. It's a bit difficult, but uh, if, you know, by this point you might, you should be able to manage it. I hope. Okay, and whoop, and uh, loop. there we go. Um, difficult, but not not totally undoable. If you're if you're at this point, which I hope you're all right with that at this point. Uh, and hey, snake, how you doing? Uh, I just want to kick your ass, get out of here. Uh, pinky blobbies, instead of those slugs. <laughs> ah, boo doo boo doo doo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Ow! You, you asshole. Come here. Oh, never mind. Oh, hey, boss time! Look who's back from the dead! It's Sea Serpent! Oh, nice! And... Just like before, shoot him in the mouth, get out of the way when he fires. Although, as you've seen... His shots are a little different than before. Wow! That did the number on me. There we go. Ha! Fuck you! Uh, there we go. I wonder what would happen if you remade the first one with the second games like graphics and, and uh, play control. You know, besides the inevitable fan bitching. Because you know they would. You know, fans would outrage. No, why did you do that? The perfect original was so perfect. But I'm, honestly, I would be curious to see how the original would would feel with the uh, with this game's play control and and look with the graphics and everything. Okay, here we go. Whoop! And this is basically a big maze where you can stock up on hearts and medicines and all that good stuff, and still gotta make it to the end before these things decide. Hey! Ah, shit. Oh well. 
I still got seven medicines, almost full, and whoop! It's all in black and white. It's him. It's Zoda Z. It's Yum Yum. Yes, we have a boss rush. <laughs> that's one of the best. That's one of the thing I like about this game. There's a boss rush. And you can take on all of these bosses, with all the major bosses of the game, with this, with this Ultra Psychic Shockwave. That was not supposed to hit me. Die. Thank you. Go away. And by the way, the way Yum Yum reacted as I came in, that's pretty much what would happen if you shot his boar. You know, shot the wild boar he was trying to eat. No, no, no. Personal space, Scorpion. Ah. Which means, oh shit. I'm gonna have to refight the minor boss. I managed to beat him because I had two big stars. I don't have big stars. Not anymore. Oh, hey. Oh, King Tutface. Oh. And as the more I play, the more I get used to, to his movements. And how he fires. And yeah, this is just too easy. Come on. Give me something difficult. Come on. Whoa. Oh, Zoda X. Oh, there he goes. Now now he starts using those those attacks. Okay. Now he's using them. Okay. Yeah. Ow, 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 you motherfucker. No. You are not taking away my ultra ow psychic shockwave. You're not doing that. I refuse. Ah, 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 ah. No. Okay, come on. Ow! Okay, just to be safe. I've still got five more of them. I mean, what, what else am I going to do? You know? Hopefully I don't run out of them. Which I shouldn't. Oh, now he shoots skulls. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I think I complained that, that this guy was too easy in, in, in the first go around. Okay, he, he did make up for it a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> You are weak, X. You are weak. X not gonna give it to you. They're here. And we fight you again. This time without the luxury of the big star. So I actually have to dodge and shit. These rocks, indestructible, get out of my way. You, you, no, no, no. Personal space, personal space. God damn it, I said personal space. Get, oh. Okay. Uh, I, I, I'll take it. I'll take it. Here we go. Zoda Y. Already. <laughs> oh. Just as two party as, as the as the original fight. And no, I am not going to abide by that. Fuck you. At least now I have the psychic shockwave here to hit from a further distance. Ah, uh, and hit faster too. Come on, thank you, thank you. Part one down. You'll notice there's no doors. That's how you can tell what's gonna happen after you beat a certain boss in this rush. No, 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 no. Ow. Ow, 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 no, 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 You motherfucker, come here. Will you die? Can you do that for me? Can you die for me? Thank you. Death! And here's the thing, this has a pit. If you fall in the pit, it's instant death. And then you do this. Right in front of the goddamn dragon. Hey, just like last time. Ah, ah! Except he's more fire breathy, which could work out in my favor. Because that's a little bit easier to dodge than, you know, the flying fireballs and shit. 
Uh, can I beat him before he flies? That would have been great, but no. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm not going to worry too much about medicine in this fight because I know what comes up in the next room. Oof. Yeah. Fuck you. Fuck you. Okay. Woo. All right. What's next? Yeah, 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 yeah. I just beat all your minions again. You're going to laugh about that? Okay. Vitamin X! Instant health refill. So, hey, you know, at least, at least it gives you a little break. Oh, fuck. Zoda spawn. That's the first part of this fight. Three-part fight for the final battle. Yes, this is the final battle. And these do move diagonally. These are not just Zoda spawn. These are Zoda himself. Heart and a half. Ah, no. Go away. Personal space. Thank you. Beat the one that's not like the others. And here we go. Zoda Z. He has a very special attack. If I get hit by those, and who knows, in the course of this battle, I just might. That can turn me into a wild boar for a little bit. Because why not? You gotta add some level of challenge besides Zoda just moving around. Shay. Okay, come on. Stay away from me. Stay away from him. Do not let those hit me. Yeah, and if you see the title... Ho, ho, ho! Ha, ha! Personal space, dude! No! Get away from me! I will beat you with my own brain. Come on. Come on, thank you. Oh, nice. And that's part two. Final battle time. If you've seen the title cards, you knew this guy is coming. I admit, I kind of spoiled this guy in the title cards, but, you know, this is also a... Yeah, hey, hey, hey! Personal space, dude. Personal space. Yeah. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, dear. Ow. Whoa! Eh, there we go. Medicine. Thank you. Not abiding. Yeah. Whoa. Hi. Ow. Ow. You motherfucker. Come here. Ooh, that was close. Do not want to be a wild boar when this guy's on the screen. Mm. Oh no. Oh no. Now he's. Now he's really. Yeah, he's invincible and he does. And he has less of a sense of personal space than he does normally. Great. Hey, come here. At least I think that. Really? Ah, uh, come on. You know, I think I can hit him with any weapon, but I think what would have made this battle a lot better, and pro maybe even more difficult in the long run, was if you could only hit him with a psychic shockwave. That would be. That would probably make it a little bit more interesting. I'm not going to hit him with other weapons because I like my psychic. Ho, ho, ho. Hi. Because I like my psychic shockwave, but there we go. Ha, 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 ha. Die. Die, 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 die. Are you done? You're done. Yes. Fuck you. Fuck you. Ha. You guys can't see it, but I'm flipping them off. Ha, 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 ha. Yes. Oh. My poor thumbs. <laughs> Poor thumbs, my poor voice. Holy shit. Now saving, yes, because you can always pick up right here at the end and see the ending. Uh -huh. Hmm. Thanks for saving us. I have many things to tell you. Now I've got to make sure that the coral colons are okay. I'll meet you at the chief side. It's just basically a long interactive cutscene at this point. You can just take me there. Doom, doom, do, 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 do. And everybody's back to normal! Yay! Da, 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 da. Okay, you're weird. <laughs> I 
I miss Carl, remember me? You look totally cool. Oh yeah, I do love this jacket. That guy gave you coconut milk to refill your life. I don't know why you would need it. You talk to Micah again. In fact, I'm going to. Uh, the village is back to normal. You've saved us all once again. We will be forever indebted to you. Now let's put the tetras together and see what happens. Uh, I, I tried. I don't know how. Chief, how you doing? The hero returns! Welcome back, Mike. You are a power player indeed. Perhaps I can help you with those tetrads. After all, Tetris is my middle name. And he puts the tetrads together. How he can do it, but not me, I don't know. But here we go. He's putting them together. Somehow, I, I, I don't even know how he thinks to put these together in this configuration. Maybe, maybe you know, maybe he saw something. Because, you know, he's been living with these alien kids for the past couple of years. You know, well, I say a couple of years. These last few months. And I'm pretty sure he probably saw the insignia somewhere. Um, and I say that because this is going to be the Argonian insignia that he's going to be making. Uh, and he's almost done. A eh, little, little faster, please. Um, nah. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's the end of the game. We can go. We can take a little bit of extra time. Ah! And everybody gets a seizure. Ah! Apologies for those who actually do get a seizure. Oh, Jeebus. Uh, it's Hyrocon! Hello, Mike. Thank you so much for saving me. Oh, damn. By the way, this music... This is my favorite track from this game. So, this and the and the uh, reunion with Dr. Jones theme from the previous game. So that kind of says something about me, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, Father, you're alive! Micah, I'm so glad that you arrived here safely. When trouble began in Argonia, I sent you away in the escape pod, and then had my essence transferred to these tetrads. Now, thanks to Mike, we are all safe. And together we can go back to Argonia and rebuild our society. Goodbye, Mike. Yeah, read it in reverse. I'll be thinking about you. <laughs> thanks again, Mike. You will always hold a place as the hero of Argonia. And... And they're off. Which it never really expands on in this game, but I think Mike had a crush on Micah? Maybe? A little bit? And the feeling was mutual? So that adds a little bit of, 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 oh, a little bit of down to the ending. But that is Zona's Revenge Star Tropics 2. Yes! <laughs> uh, just like the previous game, I got a lot of the, you know, all the title card stuff was made from, you know, this, this here at the ending. Like, see that there? That's the first chapter. Well, the first video, I should say. Second chapter, but first video. Um, but yeah, uh, I did read this fan fiction, um, you know, that that sets the events of the two games as kind of like uh, bookends to the main plot, which entails the rest of Mike's adventures after rescuing his uncle and, and getting to know the alien kids. So, um, you know, it, it would be nice, you know. Maybe it could go the route of, like, say, some of the Worlds of Power books from the 90s and actually become canon. I think it was Blaster Master that did that um, with the game universe. But, uh, but, you know, hey. But anyways, that's one of those rare fan fiction things I can actually recommend. Um, and it gives credence. It probably takes, you know, from this game, it looks like Mike has a thing for Mike and is a little sad that she's gone. Especially after ch since he's chasing after them or what have you. But, um, yeah. Anyways, this game... I, I can see where people get some of their gripes about the game, you know, with, like, very, very little um, mercy invincibility. Um, if you're not careful and it can, can kick your ass, um, the the controls, sometimes sometimes things are a little bit stiff, but all, all in all, I, I found it very enjoyable. It's a lot of fun. If you can, go check it out. Uh, I don't know if it's on any of the virtual console, current virtual consoles yet. Uh, I know it was on the Wii. But I don't know if it's on the Wii U yet. So, um, but if you find it, you know, check it out. It'll be, it's worth the money. Um, you know, just just the just the characterization alone is a lot worth the money. In the music, in the control, and, and it's a lot of fun. This and the previous one, check them out. It, whenever, if you have a chance, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, so yay! <laughs> what a wild adventure! If I hadn't lived it, I wouldn't believe it. Neither would we, Mike. Neither would we. <laughs> Ah, uh, and the end. I don't know if this is going to set back to the beginning. I'm not touching any buttons. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for sticking with me through this series. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Uh, 
check out my next series. I'm still not quite sure what I'm going to be doing yet. I'm looking at maybe Mega Man Rock Force, uh, one of those fan-made Mega Man games. Um, I might end up doing that one. Uh, so that, that's going to be a lot of fun because I've played through it once. I enjoy it. It's tough as balls. And we'll probably bring out a lot of cursing from yours truly, <laughs> which some people apparently like. Um, so yeah, that, that may be a thing. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like this, you know, like it, subscribe it, comment, share it with your friends. Don't just hoard it like the cheeseburger at the Waffle House. It, it deserves to be shared if you like it. Um, and if you want to help out more directly uh, to help with things like equipment upkeep and upgrades and eventually getting me to a point to where, you know, I, I can do this without having to worry about most anything else, um, all of that good stuff, check out patreon.com slash gomer21xx. If you're here from the D-pad, hi, how you guys doing? I hope you guys are enjoying the ride. Um, you know, those guys do great work, and I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be helping them out as well. So... Uh, also, she did not do the title cards for this one, but I'm going to give a shout out to my girlfriend and title card artist, Becky Hopkins, whose artwork can be found at beckhop.deviantart.com. And if you want to commission her, just go to patreon.com slash beckyhop and check out her comic, Otherworldly. Link is in the doobly-doo. Check them all out. If you like fantasy comics, you'll like this one. It is pretty awesome. Ah. So, thank you guys for watching. And until next time, this is Gomer the Ranting Thespian. Signing off. <laughs>